where anti-grade wiring starts. You know, look at any algorithm, this is where it starts. How is your proximal cap? If it is ambiguous, then you need to make it unambiguous by doing, you know, imaging. So you can look at this oscillatory ambiguous cap CTO. What can happen if you don't do I was graded cap puncture? If you wire subintimally anti-grade and you lift a flap and close LCX, so there can be an on-table catastrophe. And if you go retrograde without anti-grade uh, preparation, then also you can create a same problem if you do an extended reverse cut, which is strictly no in this case of you know, significant side branch. Uh, that's the reason very appropriate wiring strategy for this case is just do an iverse guided cap puncture first, and then if you reach distal true lumen, it's fine. Otherwise, you can go retrograde and you can finish your case with a reverse cut beyond. So uh, I divide, you know, I was get cap puncture into four steps. So for easy understanding, see, these are the four steps. And the first step being is, uh, you know, uh, recognizing the cap. But before you even do that, what is a prerequisite? You need a good side branch to do IWAS. So if you don't have a good side branch, you know, uh, you can't really do. So there should be a good size side branch with a good length. That length should be more than the tip to trans transduce transducer distance of the catheter which you are using. I mean, for Boston, it is 20 millimeters. For Terumo Antiwall, I think it's less than 10 millimeters, around 9 millimeters, but which is not available in India. So that's a typical length which you need. And another thing is angulation. So angulation should be less than, you know, 60 degrees. If the angulation is more than that, again, your imaging won't be appropriate. So and such side branch, you know, it's very difficult to send IVAS and do an IVAS gate cap puncture. Also, this Though the size is good, it is very tortuous, and again, it is very difficult to do. I was get cap puncture. Coming to the identification of proximal cap, so in this case, so we can we can do I was from Ramus, not LCX, again because of the angulation. And once you do I was, how to identify? You just look at the horizon. So something appears at two o'clock, and then joins you know the main vessel confluence, and then uh, there is a uh, LMCA. So that's how uh, it will be. You can see here. So this is something up here, and then that moves closer to your branch, and then it joins, and then you know you can see the jump in size of the vessel. So the two important points to be kept in mind is one is disappearance of media, which locates uh, the uh, uh, you know cap location and second is the jump in the size of the vessel. So these are the two important markers to locate uh, your uh, proximal cap. See if there is a side branch like this, it is very difficult to you know uh, locate your proximal cap. Added to it, there is a lot of calcium here, which makes it even more difficult to. Uh, yeah, so uh, look at you know proximal cap, and it's very difficult to uh, wide such caps, calcified and you know angulated, uh, very angulated side branch. So coming to wiring of proximal cap once after identifying, so you can use different systems. You know, uh, seven French system takes I was with fine cross, but there is one uh, uh, caveat here. If you use optic cross HD six, that six is basically six French compatible. So th then you need the eight French system, so uh, even with fine cross. So and you can use uh, I was with Corsair in eight French and slip slip in system you can do with you know eight French. And regarding wiring, you can use three D wiring, tip detection wiring, or you can simply use I mean look at your tip and you know push it into the proximal cap. And which wire to be used? See, uh, you can see how uh, Gaia versus Harnet or you know Conquest Pro how they behave. You can see here, this is uh, Gaia wire, and uh, this is a Conquest Pro wire. So Gaia is basically when you push the wire, so it bends, you know, the tip bend stiffness is less with Gaia when compared to Harnet or Conquest. And you can see this is a Conquest, uh, sorry, Harnet wire. When I push it, it just goes into the block. It won't buckle. So basically, See, it is the tip bend stiffness which matters, you know, when you are wiring ambiguous cap. More the tip bend stiffness, better is that wire. But it is only for entering the cap, not to, uh, you know, take it further. So what is the shape? And this is the shape which we can use. Uh, 
the secondary curve should be should match your angle of attack primary curve is just 1 mm so and based on ang angle of attack you know you change your secondary curve and like the, yeah this is how you know this is a harnet wire so i'm just wiring identify the location and push the wire into uh, the proximal cap and now you have to confirm where your a wire is completely uh, centrally located. You can see here, so, and in all views, wire should be within the media. You can see, uh, I mean, see, this is the media. It is within the media, within the media, and within the media. So you make sure, and this is the confluence. At the confluence as well, it should be between the two uh, points, the goalposts of, you know, media. So this is how, uh, the wire uh, should be in uh, uh, iOS. So once that is confirmed, you know, you can go ahead with your next step. And you can see here, so this uh, is a HD iOS. You can see this wire is basically subintimal. Your block is here. And uh, uh, we rewired with hardnet. And now you can see the, this is a wire. This is appropriate location. This is actually subintimal. This is an hostile LED. Had I continued with the first wire, and it would have been catastrophic. Uh, next is, once you puncture, so what to do? See, once you puncture with Conquest, I already mentioned, you know, the uh, curve which you take with Conquest is too much. You know, if you advance that wire, it may go subintimally. So always uh, secure your position, consolidate your position with microcatheter, and then downgrade your wire, deescalate your wire to 1mm chip, Gaia, or whatever you are comfortable with. So that's what I'm doing. So. For further CTO tracking, you de-escalate wire with 1mm chip. So uh, this is what, you know, uh, if you just send microcatheter in, then take de-escalated wire and send it, and you will reach your distal true lumen. And when you have slipstream system, so there is a, a dual lumen catheter or the same wire on which your IVC is. So that's when you have to, what you have to do is uh, you just this is a wire, you pull this wire back, and now your IVAS catheter is out of uh, you know, wire, then you can pull IVAS catheter without disturbing your WMN catheter which is sitting there. So once IVAS is pulled out, then you can take trapper in, and you can exchange uh, you know, to your uh, micro catheter for further advancement. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you're not able to do anti-grid IVAS guided puncture, so what you can do, see, extreme angle of attack, so put an IVAS catheter inside branch, and uh, then go retrograde. So we went retrograde as we were not able to puncture antigradly, and then you identify, and you can even puncture from retrograde. Uh, so you can see here, so this is a retrograde wire, and you can simply do even tip detection here. I think there's some problem here. Lights are not moving. Okay, so it's okay. I mean, it's just going haywire. Okay, so anyway, so we uh, finished uh, with a retrograde cap puncture by uh, uh, anti-grade IVIS, and you can see the side branch. You can save such a big side branch, and doing parallel wire after IVIS grade cap puncture. This is again important. So once you puncture and confirm your position of wire in such caps, so what you have to do is. You just create a space if your wire gone subintimal. You create a space and then send a double lumen catheter uh, so that your over the wire uh, exit is beyond the hostile LED. See, this is important. You are making sure that your second wire also goes through the entry of the first wire, which was already confirmed by IWAS. And you can do parallel wire like this. Damishar, sorry to interrupt because if it's okay, can I think it's done. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can also do reverse cut. Uh, but it should be beyond the ostium, so yeah, I think I can skip. But it's it's not that, you know, if you do a ca cap puncture, you will always uh, reach your distal true lumen. You may not sometimes, you know, you have to be ready with your other techniques as well. To conclude, a complete IVAS guided proximal cap puncture is a way to go in ambiguous uh, cap. Extreme angle and calcified proximal cap are unfavorable for imaging. And cap identification, wiring of cap, and confirmation of central entry, everything should be done under IVIS. And consolidate your position with microcatheter and de-escalate wire. 
Eccentric wire entry close to the carina might also excuse, you, excuse your side branch, and parallel wiring can be done, as I showed, and reverse cut, you know, should, we should be careful, not come to ostium, and you can also do I was guided to get Foxman. Yeah.